Hey guys, my name is Cityak and welcome back to another episode of Canal Town here in City Skylines. Where last episode, we not only reskinned our ferry line, which the, the boat looks so much freaking better right now, but we also connected up a brand new highway, which is now bringing lots of traffic in. Now, I purposely didn't do any management on that brand new highway in, because I wanted to see how it kind of reacted and who started using it as a shortcut. But it's now sparked my interest to do something a little bit additional. Now, I just want to say, guys, if you are enjoying the series and want to see more, then make sure you smash the like button down below. If you are new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out. Now, today, I not only want to do some redesigns on all of this, because I've got some really good ideas, but we're also going to be hopefully implementing another ferry line within the city. Which will hopefully take away some of the heat from our current ferry line and we'll just get more people using it reducing the traffic overall now last episode i implemented this it comes all the way down all elevated and then it splits all kind of connects into a single road skadoodles down to here onto the roundabout and everybody goes to where they need to get to now it ain't too bad considering that i would then haven't really done any lane management told people which way they need to turn or all that kind of jazz it's not too bad there's a little bit of a backlog here but nothing too ground or city breaking as i should say but since i implemented it in people coming from this direction or wanting to go in that direction for them that now becomes the shortcut route to go through so if you're in the industrial area and you want to go out this way or come from this way you're gonna cut through here and then go that way before they would have came all the way around turn this way or go the long way around vice versa so i could just build this end of this highway here and connect it up over to there and you know no one will be using this anymore but that's not the point i've got a really really good idea for this now what if this elevated road when it gets to here and connects didn't connect didn't merge what if it stayed elevated and it went over this junction stayed elevated and then connected here thus meaning i need to create a big infrastructure intersection there i could then get rid of the roundabout maybe stick a roundabout here instead that will just make everybody flow a whole lot easier and that's kind of what i'm going to get done right now in the middle of new amsterdam of this ferry foundation <sighs> your boy is very reluctantly about to build a huge mega infrastructure this could go really 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 bad but we'll see what happens so it does mean i'm gonna hit the pause button and i probably now won't unpause until the whole thing's built oh dear god i'm prob i'm already regretting this so what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna delete all of this right all this is now going and it will make sense in the end because also staying elevated on this so i can elevate all this and it will sort this out for that to go through if this is elevated here all this here can go through it's going to work out in the long run you, you just it's one of those moments where you're just going to have to trust the process okay you're going to have to trust the process so i'm also going to delete all here it's all skedaddling it's all gone i'll bring it to that entrance just there We'll delete this going all the way across, probably to about here. It's all gone, boys. We are literally going to start from scratch right now and build something big and beautiful. So one thing I will do, though, the one thing I will do is I'll place down a road. Now, is that straight? Would you say this is straight to here? There's no angles, no. I'll build this going just to here for just a moment. So at least I got my anchor point to what I can utilize. The rest is going to be very interesting. So we're going to get our highway road. And we got to remember, coming from this direction, it's only a two-lane highway. Because we have two slip roads coming in. So it's a two-lane highway. So we got to try and merge that with what we've got at the minute, a three-lane highway. Which, uh, yes, very interesting. It goes into a two-lane road there. So that's something that we have to bear in mind. Uh, let me get the middle point down here as well for the center. So, where's this? That is going to roughly be... What do you reckon about? And where I snapped here? No. I'm going to pick a middle point, which I'm, I'm going to assume is going to be here. And I'll run that to about there. So now I've got a center point to which I can utilize everything from. So, highway... 
we're going to elevate the one by 10 and the other one's going to be elevated by 20. So if I go to here and add that in there, this is the right way, isn't it? No, I've already got it the wrong way around. Whoopsie. And then this one goes this way. So I know I'm 10 away. I already know I'm 10 away. Bam. Bam. Now doing the same on this side. This should be a 10 there. Right? That's an 8. Is that That's a 10, isn't it? Yeah. 10. 10. So let me just quickly redo this. So the little road. Bringing that down. That should now be a 10 away. 10 away. Yeah. So we'll do a 20 and we'll do a 20. We've got it good, boys. We've got it good. So highway then. Now in reality, I don't need to have this elevated, but I'm going to, which means that's going to have to be elevated then by 20, which again is not a problem. I'm just going to make sure I get it in all correctly. Why are you not elevating? It would help if I was pressing the correct button. So from here to there, 10 there to there so the reason it's so spaced out is for when i eventually have to then merge the roads back into either a two lane or a three lane so there we go that is the setup we've got right now so i can now delete all this lower road stuff that can now be skedaddled and then the real the real building can now begin so we've got that raised by 20 this is raised by 10 like i said this is where the real fun begins so going from here, I'm going to bring this out by another 10. And then next to it, we'll do a another set of roads there. Do the same here with another set of road here. Shabam. And I reckon for about a five, I do it on both sides. We'll do it like that. So in reality, what you got to think of, right, this is a three lane road. We have our straight ahead road. We could utilize this to be our up and over to the left road. And then we can utilize this to be the right road. Unless I make this the right road and then this is the up and over to the left road. That's what I'm going to try and implement. So there might be a little bit of trial and error at the minute. There might be a little bit of trial and error. Is that a five? Yes, this is perfect. Bam. 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 So th there might be some troll and error. Now the problem is we've got a three lane road, three lane road, merge into a two lane road. So at some point, one of this is going to have to uh, be merged into its own two lane road. But what I'm going to do, just to make it all nice and fair, we're going to do the same all going across. So to there and then a five. And then what happens after this is then totally up to how the roads are then situated. So at least then we can't have any issues, any arguments. I've done this backwards, haven't I? Yeah, I've done these two here backwards. <laughs> oh, dearie me. It's going to be one of those days. So that needed to go here. And then that needed to go here. So it's doing the same here real quick. Oh, hold on. Got to go across. There we go. So yeah, coming from the back. Wait, have I done the same thing here as well? I have. I've just realized I've done the exact same issue on this side. One day, guys, I will get something right. I will tell you that for free. Right, down to there. Down to there. Now, these go in the middle, don't they? So yeah, so this will be here. And then I'll flip it around this way. It's easier. This would be here. That feels a little bit closer than normal. There we go. So that is how we're going to pretty much get it all set up. Now, how it's going to work is a completely different story. So that is obviously going to go across to there. That's going to go across to there. That's going to meet this one over here. And that's going to meet this one over here. No dramas. No dramas at the moment. So then what we will do is we will now implement the connection tool. So, right, let's think about this logically. Right, this, because it's on the inner side, it's got to go up and then over and then in and down. The bend there might be a bit too close for this. So I feel like this would be the best one to go into there. And then that one goes up and over to there. Right, okay, so let's start here to here. 
and I'm going to try and go for the maximum bend. What is the maximum your boy can make? That. Now, is that... A, hmm, I feel like that is a little bit too much. So what I could do in reality is get rid of this. Bring this maybe out by another five on both sides. Five. Five. Just to kind of shorten that bend is pretty much what I'm trying to accomplish. So like I said, it's going to be a lot of trial and error at the moment. So there to there, maximum on the bend. That's the best you're kind of getting. So it does graduate up to a different um, ang um, height, sorry. Bam. That's how I want to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Because that's going to go into there. Then that's going to go over to there. This is the one here that's going to go to... Yeah, it should work out fairly well. Right, let me get it all done on all the sides. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. So with that said, this, right, now has to go over to here. Now that's a big ask for this kind of road right now. So if I go the maximum and hit there, it's going to merge in, but I don't mind at the moment. Do the same to over here. We're going to have to also add another elevation onto this. So that's the maximum just there. And then this. So looking at the roads right now. So that goes over to there because you're doing the left. All right. So that goes over to there. So the right goes to the left. The right goes to the left. Here, the right goes over to the left. That's how it works on this side. So again, maximize this. Bam. And then finally, this one to over here. So this covers all bases, all aspects, and everyone's got a dedicated road to make that bend and turn. It does feel quite elaborate, quite over the top for an area that we're working with right now. But could you, can you see how glorious this interchange is going to be stacked in the middle of this, which will eventually be all high density? Oh, this is going to look, this is going to be the piece de resistance, as they say. Absolutely beautiful. So now we just got to sort out all the levels and all the angles. Which that in itself can be quite daunting. So first things first then, we need to make all these four points here and including these ones as well. And these on this side, because they're 20 in the sky, then they need to come down to a 10. So if I hit them to the object height of view, they drop down to here. So now all of a sudden, we'll get some different changes on the go. So that's one at the same level, that crisscrosses beautifully. And we'll start with our first ones. Of you and you. So in reality, what I should have done, which would have made things a lot easier, and we'll do it just here. We'll, we'll do it over here real quick. So we have a 10. Right, if I raise this up to a 20, we then have a 20. We'll do a 30. And then we'll do a 40. This is where I can quickly grab some dip, like height differentials when it comes to it. So you and you, and you and you, now technically need to be on the 30 step. So to object height of, so that's 10, 20, 30. So they would have been a lot raised now a lot higher. So then all I need to do then is grab the alignment tool and select there to there. Which will raise that there to there, which will raise that up and above. Beautiful. So you can see how it kind of, kind of comes up and bends. I will sort the rest of this out in momentarily, but you can now see how it all comes up and over. Now, because we're high in the sky, we then have to then select you and you. 
you and then you and then do the same to this now this is at a 40 so this is actually really hard it's gonna be quite a dominating interchange in the area so the same process again up and over up and over so look at that stacked right now that is beautiful if you ask me that is beautiful <laughs> uh it's quite dominant dominantly high but as we level everything all out, it's going to look really, really good. Really good. So I won't level everything out just yet. We'll now slowly try and combine them. So at this point here, these roads are running straight for quite some time. So we could already technically merge them in a bit earlier. So if I deleted you back, deleted you back to there. So let's say we did it. Let's go to this single road again. So we're now level with this. Actually, just keep it to where it was. Right, by a five, it's kind of happy to run at a five. So at that point then, if I upgraded the tip of it, and then ran by another ten, I could bring that into there. But that's too many. I feel like that's too many. So what I could do now... It's cancel all that off and then pull it back to as it was. And instead, right, instead, bring this out by another 10. And then that in by 5. And then that there, if I anarchy it, will also become a 5. So if I bow this out like like that, that the, this road here should become the 2 for this to become the 3. You get where I'm going with this? So if I do it like that, bent that, like that, you see how they've all now just merged. So singles into two into three. So now I've got to try and get this to work with the, the alignment and the bend and all that kind of jazz. So the alignment here, if I first select here, down to there, it's quite a big drop, as you can see. So in reality, it would be kind of nice to kind of go to here, to there, to there, which will then reduce it by 4%. But the drop still takes place quite harshly. So we might have to run this still a little bit further before we can actually bring it down. So this, is, this is all the stuff you've got to think of when you're, uh, you're designing this. This is all the stuff you've kind of got to think of. So bringing this back out to here, running this to this point, and this is still fairly high, but we're going to have to now bring it in and then connect it a bit further down. So we can merge these at any given point. This is going to go straight to this point right now. So if I bring it now by a 20, I could run this to a 10, then a 5. I could run this, and what's going to hurt me right now is the canal system. So to the grid, so spin it around this way five then a five so we've given it a little bit more time and space to now angle you know what i mean so some stuff's going to hang over it's just the natural stuff or thing that's going to happen so that's now become a 12 but then also incorporate that it becomes a 10 on the gradient change but that's coming from here i don't have to i can take it all the way up to there that becomes now an eight and it doesn't look as half as demanding as it once did. I can change this up slightly to kind of counteract it. And then the angles don't seem as bad. The only thing I've got to sort out is how this bends in. So upgrade you. Oh, I'm going to go off this. To a two where you become the three. So bend you out. Oh, no, no. To bend you in. Or I might have to re slightly reduce this. To reduce you. But it never really works out. You never get the, the best of the best. As you're trying to bleed it all in together. Somewhere along the line, it's going to get a little bit funky. You know what I mean? That's just naturally what happens. But that's a huge, huge drop. Now, how far can I push this? It's kind of almost as good as you're going to get that. 
that bump there. So back to this. Alignment. If I select you, you, you. Leading up to there. Oh, did that not work? Smoothing it all out. It ain't too shabby until you get to this point. But then you have to also incorporate that. But this... There to there. I can smoothen that out. There down to here. So the gradient changes. And now it all almost becomes the same height. It's a weird one, isn't it? I can bend this out, but then that wouldn't work. I could bend this out, but that wouldn't work. It gets difficult. It does get difficult. But I reckon we could... Could we semi-get away with that? Because there is one other... There is other, one other kind of way than we, which we can do it. And we can do it on this side to kind of demonstrate the differences between the two. So, let's try on this one. So, uh, this runs to here. And you got to remember, this is now technically 10 above. Okay? This is 10 above. To get this to the same level as that, just to make it a lot easier for us, if I line it to the object height, and then use the alignment to go from there to here drop it in we're now at the angle at the level which we can kind of technically get away with at some point we've got to get them all together so get rid of you if i bring you out by another 10 bring this out by 10 and then on the five or the six we'll do the five that connects in by another 10 on the five that connects in but again, this has to be doubled up. And that works a little bit easier to be then pumped in to our three. But you've got to get it all staggered, lowered, a lot sooner than the other side. Rather than gradually bringing it down. So it's the same, but it's, it's not the same. You kind of staggered the uh, connections in. And I feel like that's where we... we, we well, basically what we're going to have to do... So deleting this, right, bring in you to there. Of course, we've got to select this and make it the same object height as you. And then the gradient change from there up to there brings us down quite nice to the same height. Now, technically, this side here is 10 above this, so we're also bringing it down a lot more. So I could, again, select these two. Object height of view. Now, we're only doing anything else. Even though that is quite a dramatic drop, we can get away with this. We'll, we'll sort that out in just a moment. So, we're doing a 10 as this cuts in by a 5. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, no, no. 10. 10. That's an, that's an 11. I don't know how that managed to do that. 10. 10. Cut in by 5. 10. Cut in by 5. And then you upgrade. You and you. And you. And then you get away with it. It's a headache. But it kind of works. But then. I'm going to have to delete this unfortunately. Then you kind of have to then replicate it on the way back. Which gets even more freaking difficult. So you go, which will be here, our five, right? And you're a single line all the way in. Actually, what will be easier to do backwards? It would be easier to do it backwards here. So 15, 10. So that starts there. So you, you do your five. You stick out by a little bit more. You do your five. You flip them all around. there you go and then you upgrade you to there and then you're to there so like i said you, you just flip it on its head and then you've done you've automatically just done this one side it's painful but it does the trick <laughs> so like i said it's, it's, it is a bunch of trial and error but you can get there in the end so this will just slightly change up so from here to here or do i go a little bit further let's go a little bit further in there we go um 
No change there because it was previously messed up there to here. So the drop is a lot lower. It doesn't need to be as high. There to here. Doesn't need to be that high. That's this side then sorted out. So we'll get this side all finished and finalized. And then we're winning, boys. We'll finally be winning, he says. So, all done. We're going to get to this point. That gets to there. So that goes up another 10. That cuts in by 5. That cuts in by 5. And then, of course, you got to upgrade. Bam, bam. Bam. You get it? So flip you back. Flip you all back. You're in business. Apart from this one here. La -dee -da -dee -da. Right, so then... <laughs> then, from here to here, you sort out. That's now all level. From here to here, now all beautifully level. From there to there, a lot smoother. From there to there, a lot smoother. Things are all now coming to plan. So we've done the three laners. So that could be connected. We're back on it. But these are two laners. These are different. These are a lot different. So I'm going to delete all this road here now. Right. And then we have to try and do the same here. So like I said, this is a little bit different at this point right now. And this should all now be at a 10, which it is. So we'll try and do the same. But one of these are going to have to confis confiscate, confiscate, can't even say the word, compensate. There we go. For one of these not working out. So if I go by a 20, so do the same again. 10 in by a 5. Um in by a five so do the same this way but we'll flip it back around 20 10 5 5 so like i said one of these has now got to turn into a two so i could do it here or i could do the two here instead because it turns itself onto a two-lane highway so you're only getting the uh the jams maybe happening there it depends on how much traffic there's going to be that is something we won't know until the future so sort the alignments out then so obviously here to here here to here now we've already done the one at the bottom there we've already done that one it's then here there to there and that should be pretty fine which it is. So then that can then be connected down to there. But now we've got to do this side. Now this one's a little bit more tricky because we're going to be instantly going over the canal. Which can cause its own issues for us. So bam, 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 bam. So like before, we go across by a 20. Which for us right now, a 20 is going to be snapped there. A 20, we do a... 10 and 5 we do a 10 and 5 and then we do a 5 and we do a 5 so then we finally upgrade these two end pieces damn and let's quickly flip all of this so how well is this going to work out with having these two merging at one i don't know and yeah, I should be upgrading to a three lane, but we're on a two lane highway. Something's going to have to give. Something is going to have to give. So finalize all this off then, and then we can finally get the traffic moving about. There we go. That's all sorted that side. We'll go from there to there here, there to there here. And we're back in business, mate. So we get rid of all of this. Very good, sir. Very good. Uh, now, I don't know if this is going to be lined up to there. That's my only other issue now. Which, is, really, which it ain't too shabby. I think we'll get it to here. Alright, for now. Flip it around. 
And I reckon what we'll do... We can... Because we don't know what the bend, what, what it's going to be like. I reckon we should pull it, place it on the bend. So then the bend takes away how out of line it currently is. You know what I mean? We can kind of disguise it on the bend. Now, which way are they going? So it's this way first. So we'll go maximum. And then here to here. So like I said, even though it's kind of slightly out of line, it gets hidden on the bend. You see how it bends, it gets slightly wider. It, it will work. Justice has been served. So that side's pretty good. Now we'll try and keep on this bit then. This moving forward. Get a nice little bit of a bridge there. Um, to about here. That's a there. And then we'll try and get these connected right now in the connection tool. Again, we're going to go maximum. Still goes underneath the, uh, the train line, but th that's something I'll figure out when we come to build this area. Oh yeah, this is now flipped the wrong way around, isn't it? That's something we'll figure out when we come to build this area. How we negotiate this section with this passing over. I got plans for that. It's not an issue. It's all good. Now here we're going to make it go underground. So for the road itself, if I go underground, I'm initially going to go tunnel mode and delete this. I don't know if you can actually kind of connect. Something above and below ground. I don't know if it works like that. But what I think I'll focus on first is getting these below ground. So down to a 10. There. And do the same again. there and then just technically getting these connected right like that and obviously that's got to be flipped around here and how detrimental does it look above ground can we get away with that I think we might be able to I think it's just here we now got to connect. Oh, it's so, it's, it's so mind-boggling, isn't it? How you got to do this. So, back to this then. Now, we'll get to here. Bringing that down to there. Because now I've got to bring these together as one. I could bring this initially down to about a two. To about a two. And then just do this. Obviously, with a little bit of a better configuration because I don't know if I should just connect them directly like that together or if I should make the road stick out a bit further before I do connect them that I'm not too sure about I'm sure we'll figure it out as we see the traffic intertwine and connect with this area we can now dezone you to there as I don't want that kind of touching at the moment. And we're pretty much ready to go back into play mode. Now, this was the original road here that Kristen crossed over. I might have to move it back to this one. To try and stick some type of a roundabout there connection. Because now this is a little bit too close to this junction. If I wanted a connection to go in that direction. So we're going to have to do something there with this. So if I just put like a little bit of a placeholder road down for now. So get my road of trees. Uh, get it to get the grid snapping back on as well, by the way. Uh, elevate up and over. To there. And if I then just get it to go down to here. I know that is our middle point. 
which I could utilize this as the roundabout. How detrimental would this be? Now, we would need to be a free lane. Free lane. Or just a standard highway road. Highway ramp? No. Where's free lane highway? Free lane. Two lane. Highway. Highway connection, is that the word? If I go to a 60. Yes, that works. So that's what we'll connect to it to. And that's what we'll connect it to. So I'll keep that connection there anyway. But getting rid of it to like that extent. And then having... Like maybe this progress in that direction. And obviously this progress in that direction. And we just so then happen to have this rural road style. progress that way again this is all going to be trial and error remember that okay it's all going to be trial and error we can get this now connected to there so we can run a ferry line that way so a ferry line can now go around and we can actually officially create the loop which is really exciting i'll sort that connection out momentarily so right now we've just got to sort out all of the lane connections so there it splits like that. There it's there. This, obviously, I can't really do much about that. That's just how it splits. The opposite side. Get rid of you real quick. Opposite side. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, down here, you got the two into... Well, one into ones. This is the two into two. And then on this side, the exact same again. So everyone knows what lane they need to be in as they progress and approach this huge intersection. It's huge, isn't it? This can actually now connect over there. We can have some form of connectivity on this side. That's quite exciting, isn't it? So what I could do here is I can then... Is it ready to press play? The only thing I don't have right now is the ability to turn off in this area. Okay, I'll keep it paused for a little bit longer. So... Actually, right, if I get rid of you, if I move the crematorium over, to not enough money. Oh, snap, I don't have enough money. Well, right, I'm going to grab a quick loan. Oh, I'm still paying off this loan. Right, we'll grab this one, 200,000. We can pay that off pretty quick. It shouldn't be any issues. So move crematorium just over to, over to here. If I delete this and delete this here. And then run this very, very basic rural road going up. Which, again, delete you. That connects there. Connects there. And just delete that to there. That can connect. Oh, hold on. That can connect in. Now, this would connect to there and run straight down. So, you've got a little bit of a wiggle here. But at the same time, I'm now going to remove these. One there, one just here. Well, how did that happen? That's cost me money every time I move it. Can I run that? Oh, I can almost run that into there. That would be perfect. That would be a lot better. Right, do you see how now everything's all getting connected underneath? That it once wasn't before. So now I've got these roads, these alignments, these connections. It's almost like a grid format underneath. And I'm, I can reposition it and redo it. But that now has great connectivity over on this side. That has real good connectivity over on this side. Uh, if I reposition this... Here. And just there. Right, hold on. I'm trying to do something here. Reposition you there. 
Okay, they don't, the power doesn't quite connect. So that's a shame. So I'll run this over to there just for now. So you're able to kind of get from this side over to there a little bit easier. For, I'm on about garbage anyway. That's what I'm kind of talking about right now. Through there. So the only thing I don't have is this connection to here. Which is not the end of the world at the moment. But a part of me wants to add that in before I do continue. I'm going to have to add it in, guys, unfortunately. I'm going to have to add it in. So back to the highway. And we got to... I'm trying to figure out the best place to put a node. So if I start... Hmm. Because you got to think about this one correct right now. There and there. So can I drop a node in real quick? So we have one just here, just after. So if I have one in just there after. And then one in there just there after. We've got this now set up. So if I go for this. Do I want it next to it or not? You kind of want it like that. If I do then another 10. Where have I got that in? There. Right, I just want to get it to the ends of where I've got it. So reconnect these. And then we'll go off these right now. So if I go out by another 20. By another 20. Another 20. Another 20. So I'm deleting here and here. There, there. So 10s and 10s and 10s and 10s. So... We'll bring this down to connect to this point here. So we should have a little node on each one. And it might slightly bend in on each one. But we'll sort that out in just a minute. And we'll try and elevate each section. Uh, we'll grab the node there and there. And then bring them... Would you say that's slightly out or back in a little bit? Bring them into there. Bring them out slightly. So one, two. Get rid of these. All right, so that then here is going to become a little bit more straighter. There. 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 And that bend should work perfectly fine. So then deleting all these again to shorten the approach to this. There's easy ways to do this, but I like to make my life a lot more difficult. We then do fives coming in. That's a six. Four. Five. It's okay, we have to go for a six with that one just because the way it's kind of trying to play me right now. And then, hopefully I can get away with there to there on the angle. There to there. I have to push some of these a little bit further out. Oh, pressing the wrong buttons. So let me first initially get these all pointing in the right direction. So that's that way. That's all this way. So you and you. So we've got a, a nice little chunk there. All right, go out to there. There we go. You you gotta play you gotta play this sometimes. You gotta do it like this. Right, I reckon we can get away with that. 
I reckon we're about to get away with it. Then the final piece de resistance. Lane math. Upgrade this here. And then we are officially done. Just quickly sort these lines out. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Yeah. Sort the roundabout out, out. Sort, sort the roundabout out. There we go. <laughs> and there's so much more I can do to this. Double roads on the approach. Doing V's here to make it more efficient. But we'll just lead with that for now. Pull it into play mode. Now we should see the traffic more free flowing. Now it will take a while to see any progression. It will take some time to see any progression happening right now. So we'll do a little bit of a fast forward all over again. Little bit of a fast forward, boys. Little bit of a fast forward. But yeah, vehicles should be moving. So give it another couple of minutes before everyone knows which way they've got to go. Left, right, and center. Which is their approach. Which is their turn off. Everybody who got caught in the wrong directions can now go in the correct directions. Um, there's little things we can do here. Just to aid the angle in which it slopes down. Everything else is fine. I think everything else is going to be okay. So that's quite a large change that we've now done. Oh, we need power. Well, I'm going to quickly drop down this solar plant. Because we now officially need to use our own power. Uh, there we go. So at the moment, we're still going to see a lot of vehicles making our, their way down here and using this as the main route. When I eventually build this and get it to there, a lot of vehicles then cut that out because there'll be no need to kind of come down here to come down this way, if you know what I mean. So we should see this. This is probably going to be the most traffic you'll ever see on this route altogether. It really is. I like the fact that we can now get vehicles going left to right on this kind of uh, section. I might build a, a bridge going across here. At some point, we'll kind of see. This, I'm not too thrilled about. I'm not too thrilled about this. But we can figure out a better system for this. We really can. So I'm not too stressed at the minute about it. So all this is as free flown as you're going to get it. Now, I did say I was going to get another ferry line in. I'm going to save it for next episode solely because I feel like I need to build up a little bit more around here, finalize this and over this side as well to really get the full effect of it. This is not perfect here, so we've definitely got to sort something out um, there. It, I, it might be a case of I bring a road out and then make this V happen a lot earlier, so as they come down to a straight connection here, we can then split them up into multiple directions. It would make the traffic flow a lot easier. For now, this is what I'll do. For now, we'll make this the sole right turn. This is the straight over and to the left. There's a lot of vehicles trying to make a right turn, which will be slowing down the vehicles who want to make the straight ahead turn. So that will kind of ease the burden now. And get a few vehicles out of the way and moving. And just like that, they're kind of gone. It's not perfect, remember. It's not perfect. But we'll set that little better system up next episode anyway. So that's kind of fixed that slight burden to begin with. But we'll see how the rest of it progresses in the future. I'm quite excited. What's going on here? Why are they turning there? Do we have additional... Oh, we have additional nodes here. Do I have this over here? Yes. How, oh, no. Okay, it doesn't matter there. It's just on these ones. How do I not notice these little nodes? I ha I know have no idea. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. So, how is this going to progress in the future? I absolutely have no clue no clue why are they now slowing down on this again i have no clue no clue but there's lots of drama still yet to be halved that is a huge interchange in the middle of canal town right now so once we get that connection set up there we shouldn't see any the any of the demands we see right now Next episode, we're going to build the edges of all of this, get it all up and done so this peninsula is kind of almost finalized. Get an extra ferry line or two on the go. That would reduce a lot of traffic as well. 
But uh, I'm quite excited, boys. I'm quite excited to see how this is going to go. I really am. But for now, if you have enjoyed the monstrosity that I've caused and created, please smash the like button down below. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Oh, 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 oh,